Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the uh, remaining month of November. We start from the 22nd through the 30th of November. I know the reads are very late, but um, yeah, I was traveling, so I could not do reads. Uh, but yeah, let's dive into the read and let's see how the remaining month of November is going to be for all of you out there. Uh, this one is going to be for the sign of Cancer. So Cancer. Cancerians, let's see what is coming in for you for the remaining month of November time. What can you expect? I will be adding oracle cards as well. So stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well. So let's see. Wow. The Emperor. Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, uh, I mean, the deck we do have the helmet. I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, there is a specific someone coming towards you. Um, if, if we talk about you, I really feel like, you know, you are not at all interested in to, um, investing yourself into anything. Right now, you are uh, very well focused on yourself. You really don't want to give your attention or your time to anything else but to better yourself up now i really see that somebody would be approaching you uh that person whoever it is that's going to be i feel like you know that person is going to be um trying to um I really feel like, you know, the, this person who is coming towards you, I feel like, you know, this person is uh, somebody who's mature. There will be age difference, like a huge age, age difference between the two of you. Uh, but I feel like, you know, whoever this person is going to be, this person is um, is, is going to come with, with an intention to get married to you. I really feel like, you know, whoever this person is going to be, they are going to be the answer to your prayers. But at the same time, when they are going to approach you, I feel like, you know, you would be resistant uh, to give into the connection to this person for some reasons. Now, the reason could be two uh, different reasons. One could be that you are not interested in love or relationship right now. The other reason could be you have your, your self-imposed blocks around love and relationship for now. Now, for some of you, um, the energies could be completely reversed. Maybe whoever it is that you are interested in, you really love this person, you really want this connection, but this person has their self-imposed blocks and they are not ready to invest themselves into a loving relationship for now. It can be the case for some of you as well if the energies are reversed. Now, what I see here is um, whoever it is who is resistant towards accepting a love offer, uh, this situation is not going to last. I feel like, you know, that person is going to give in to the connection, whether it's you, whether it's your person. Because I feel like, you know, this person is coming in with the clear-cut intention and their intention is going to manifest for them. This person here who is resistant, be that you or your person, um, they they are imposing blocks on themselves, but they deep down feel, wish the same as, as you wish for this connection. So that's going to make this connection work because the two of you feel the same way. You two of you want this connection. But yes, one person has restrictions on themselves. The other person really willing to get through this uh, situation and uh, work towards, uh, you know, having a future together. So I feel like, you know, somebody is really going to make things work in this uh, situation. So I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, um, if you are making a, a love offer, your love offer is going to be uh, probably rejected at first place. But I really don't see you giving up on this connection. That's how you're going to get what you want. Now, for others of you, your person is not going to give up on you. And uh, they are going to keep putting effort till you say yes to them. Now, for some of you, you are already with the on the waiting for another person. For others of you, you are restricting yourself to get into a relationship right now. So... Whatever the case is, I really see you giving into a connection to that specific someone who is coming in for you. Initially, you're not going to be ready, but yes, you are going to give into the connection. You're going to think through things and that's how you're going to feel like, okay, fine, I'm ready to give in. I really feel like uh, this person is going to be somebody who's going to take care of you, somebody who's loving, who's uh, who's willing uh, to to build family with you. So I really see that energy coming in for you in the remaining month's time. Um, let's see the Oracle Guidance for you. Let's see what the Divine has to add to the read for you guys. 
what is the oracle guidance for you in the given situation with your specific someone that I see coming towards you? It can be a new person as well, which could be the reason why you are going to hold yourself back from giving into the connection. But like I said earlier, if it, even if you have rejected them in the past, you are going to say yes to them. Or even if they have rejected you in the past, they are going to say yes to you. So I love you. These are powerful words. Now, I really feel like, you know, if they have never expressed their feelings and emotions to you, they are going to express, express it. They never thought to say to you because they were feeling that it was not the right time for them. They are so powerful words and they really don't want to say it and then make you feel that you are not being loved. So this person has a deeper meaning to anything and everything that they say. And I feel like, you know, they they are very uh, selective in their words. This person could be somebody who is very less talkative. Maybe you are, you know, uh, if, if you know, this person already um, then too and even if it's a new person coming into your life then too I feel like they are not somebody who's talkative they are not somebody who's uh, you know who's who's like uh, you know who likes to talk a lot with people but when it comes to you uh, they they are a different them when they are with you plus they love you so when they love someone they give their heart into it I feel like you know you are gonna be lucky to have found this person so even if you're gonna resist them in the beginning I really feel like you are going to give in if they are the one who has been like you know resisting you I feel like you know they are going to open themselves up to accept you why because they're gonna feel the same way for you they're gonna feel like you know you have a pure heart pure love pure intention for this connection for this person so that's how you are going to make a make a home in their heart Hard. and uh, I feel like you know it's it's gonna be a beautiful remaining month for majority of you uh, let's see some more article guidance here let's see what else is the divine message for you in regards to the situation that you would be dealing with in the remaining month of November time what else is the divine message for you what else is the divine message for you <clears throat> have faith in your dreams so for majority of you uh, if you are on the giving end and if you have been loving a person for forever uh, just have faith in your dreams because somebody who you have loved a lot is going to be returning to you to offer you the commitment that you once demanded from them. Hold your vision. So I feel like you know, for the majority of you, you have been on the giving end. And uh, now is the time when you're going to receive this love, this abundance coming from this person. Now, if it's a person who have uh, once rejected you, um, I feel like you know, them returning back to you is going to make you feel like, you know, why is it happening? Uh, but at the same time, they are going to, you know, they, they are coming in with clear intention. They are coming with the pure heart. So you will ultimately give into the connection. I feel like, you know, the energy is going to gain momentum here coming from this person. The, the love, the madness, the passion, the excitement, that effort that they're going to put into the connection is going to make you give into the connection to them. So I feel like, you know, they are not going to just say the words that I love you. They are going to mean it uh, with every uh, single uh, word they say to you. So I feel like, you know, they're... The, the reason why they never expressed it is because they never meant it. And now when they mean it, they're going to show it with their actions that, yes, they love you. So I really see this person returning to you or maybe you are, you know, returning back to this person who who once loved you and you rejected them. So it's going to be different for different uh, people. But yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.